over a thing, which people will bring their rock to our remain. It's fun buying presents for parents and friends, his brothers and sisters, no less never ends. There are dozens of cousins and aunts by the score, there's granny and there's granddad and so many more. It's right to give money to people with needs, to celebrate Christmas by doing good deeds. It's nice to see turkey and pudding pie, I can't finish my I try and I try. When we finish our food, our games and our fun, let's pause them for a minute to think if you've done. Let us thank the babe and his manger of wood, and of Mary his mother so gentle and good. Let's remember the reason he came from above, to help us, to save us, to show God's love. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to us at Christmas as a tiny helpless babe in the nature of Bethlehem. Help me to remember that you, the Lord of Heaven, maker of all things and giver of all things, gave up all things to be here with us your there, to save us and to help us. Remind me, dear Lord, as I enjoy myself on your birthday of the real, true, and deep meaning of Christmas. Let me see your love in the loving faces of my family and friends, this Christmas and always. And let them see your love in me, as with your help I do my best to make them happy too. I ask you for your name's sake, Lord Jesus. Amen. On the way to Bethlehem, Mary and Joseph on their way, because of Caesar sent to stay. The Roman Empire ordered them to make their way to Bethlehem. Oh, what a long and tiring route, with only a donkey to bear it. Mile after mile on weary feet, mountain and valley, road and street. Dry as the dust and cold as the rain, but Mary and Joseph do not complain. Rough as the wind and dark as the sky, but Mary and Joseph do not cry. They're on the road to Bethlehem. They help each other and God helps them. Almighty and ever-loving Father, it is difficult to keep going when our journey seems hard and the place we want to get to is a long way away. Help us to remember your servant Joseph as he looked after Mary, the mother of your son Jesus. He made the long, hard journey to Bethlehem together. He got them all there safely. Almighty Lord, give us some of the strength you gave them. Ever-loving Lord, give us good companions to protect us and help us on our journey through life. Word of all wisdom and knowledge, guide us on the way. Let there be interesting things to see besides life's road and give us wor worthwhile things to do for you and for others as we travel. Help us to travel and may, and help us to travel well and may others say of us that the journey is easier and happier for them because we are here. We ask it for the sake of him who made the great journey from heaven to earth to be our companion on the first Christmas day. Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. We are going to keep go to Bethlehem. It's a long way. I'll go and hit the donkey. I'll help you. Thank you.
It was late when Mary and Joseph arrived at Bethlehem. We need a place to stay. Sorry, but we have room. They went to the next one. We need a place to stay. Sorry, we're too full. They went to the next one. I'm tired. They had traveled for many a long, weary day. Now Mary and Joseph had nowhere to stay. They tried every house as they walked up and down, but all rooms were taken in Bethlehem town. We must find some shelter. We must find a bed. The land fell thoughtful and then scratched his head. I do have a stable. It's old and it's old, but it might just be better than nowhere to live. Loving Heavenly Father. Mary and Joseph had such a long, hard journey, and they couldn't find anywhere to stay in Bethlehem. But they never gave up. They never stopped trying. And at last, an innkeeper let them have his stable. Teach us to be like them. Teach us to accept things cheerfully and thankfully. To count our blessings and to be content. Help us always to remember that your son Jesus is the hope of the world. And that he is always there to help us. We ask it for his name's sake. Amen. God has sent 
his son. Loving Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son to the manger in Bethlehem on that first Christmas day. Thank you for loving us so much that he came to help us, to save us, and to bring us everlasting life. Thank you for the angel's message and for Mary's goodness and obedience. Thank you for Joseph who looked after her. Thank you for the innkeeper who gave them his stable when they had nowhere to go. Thank you for Jesus and all that he does for us. Help us to show him our thanks by loving and serving you and other people. For his name's sake. Amen. Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, Mars. Holy now shepherds, give us gold down to that little town below. Lights in the sky, how bright they go. Lights in the little town below. Counting the sheep and counting them, counting the lights in Bethlehem. Suddenly, silently, who is here? Shepherds rejoice and have no fear. I come here, the in the sky, world war ten years, world war nine. There in the stable, you will find chairs and scarves with the man. All on them is in glorious light, and choirs of angels filled the night. Peace and good will to everyone. Go on out and worship Mary's son. what the angels brought and help us to hear it as clearly today as the shepherds heard it then help us find jesus in our hearts as they found him in bethlehem help us to worship him honestly simply and humbly as they did for his name's sake amen Thank you. 
everyone, it's Father Peter here at St Mary's Church. I'm in the parish house and what you see in the background, this is my piano room. I'm sitting at the piano and you'll see some music in the background. <clears throat> and I want to sing a wee song for you today to uh, help raise up the, the level of joy, I hope, for everyone. Um, and children, particularly for you, um, this is an important Christmas because it's a Christmas during a very difficult time that everybody's had in the whole world. We've heard of the coronavirus or COVID and people have got very sick and lots of people have died of it. And sometimes it can make us feel that everything's very bleak and dark. But as you know, the message of Christmas, the message of Jesus, the child Jesus, is one of light. Remember the three kings who came from far away because they saw this great light in the sky and it stopped over the place where Jesus was laid. And when they were on their journey near Bethlehem, they stopped one night before for a break, for a rest. <clears throat> and when they were there, some of the local people came up to them. And among them was a little boy who had a lamb and the lamb had not been very well. So he wanted to get medicine for his lamb, so he was looking for some money. So he got in and he started to play his drum for the kings, to delight the kings, to please them so that they would give him some money. But one of the kings said, no, why don't you come with us to see the real king, the king of the world, the king who is our saviour? 
And the little boy said, but I don't have any gifts to bring him like you do. He saw that they had their frankincense, gold and myrrh. So uh, the king said to him, just come anyway and you'll see that the king of the world will give you a gift. So the little boy goes with him and when he gets to the stable, the kings put down their gifts and the little boy didn't know what to do. So he went forward and he looked at the child and he thought it was wonderful to see this little baby. And so he said to Mary, could I play my drum for your baby? And Mary nodded to him. So he played his drum. And once he'd finished playing his drum, he went back to where his sick sheep was and it was better because Jesus had healed his sick sheep. Now, you may remember that there's a song that tells this little story and it's called The Little Drummer Boy. So I'm going to try and play it for you. Uh, I'll maybe make some mistakes, but I'm sure you'll forgive me. You ready? And join in. Well, you're not allowed to sing, of course, but you might be able to tap to the rhythm. They told me parum pa pum pum A newborn king to see parum pa pum pum Our finest gifts we bring parum pa pum pum To lay before the king parum pa pum pum see my piano but it's here. <laughs> May the Lord bless you and your families and keep you all in his great love in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye bye and happy Christmas. Hello everyone. I hope you enjoyed our nativity this year. Didn't the children do exceptionally well? We're so proud of them. And I really do hope that the Nativity has put you in a Christmassy mood for this year. I just want to say a huge thanks to my staff for the hard work they've put in this year and changing um, the ways of the ways they've had to work, uh, which has been quite challenging. And again, they've pulled it out of the bag with the Nativity as well. And we've done something a wee bit different for you this year, which I hope you enjoy. 
It's just also like to say thank you to Mr. Fisher for uh, pulling all this together and to Monsignor uh, Peter McGee for his continued spiritual and pastoral support. So uh, it just leaves me now to say I hope that you have a happy and holy Christmas from me and all of my staff. Thank you.